it's such a frustrating swimmer. When you swim like that, you look world class. That's what you are, really, isn't it? It's been a while, I tell you. Um, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I've been working really hard on it and can't say I've had the best year, but at the end of the day, I came here and I did what I had to do and couldn't be happier. I mean, look at your season's best. That was two seconds quicker than you did in 2011. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, and it was almost four quicker than what I did in trials in March, so I can't tell you what went wrong, but it's all starting to go right, so that's what matters, isn't it, really? It's in the head with you, isn't it? <laughs> my body's always going to be ready to deliver, it's just when my head lets me, and I'm working with the British Swimming Psych, Simon Omas, and a big shout out to him, I'm not a big believer in it all, but I knuckled down and worked at it, and it's paying off, so... Can you put your finger on what was right in you felt? I want it again. I enjoy it. That's bad, the race smiling and like I said, it's been a long time since I've gone that way. Because so. your stroke was pretty much on song all over. You never looked on the ball <laughs> at all, even though that, that last 50 turn, you want to see that back. Again, I just I wanted it badly, like I was speaking to coach and he was like, look, you can either take it out with them and bring it back or you can just, you know, take no prisoners and with Marco and you never know, so I didn't want to mess about and once I saw myself in front, I just wanted to turn most of that and capitalise really. When you came